Alright, hello internet friends. It's Alienation here. Uh, I'm trying out a new project. I'm going to be making a series of what are known as Let's Play videos where I'm going to be playing this game and uh, kind of talking about it as I play. Um, so here we go. The game here is Skyrim. It's a role-playing game in the Elder Scrolls series. If you're not familiar with that, it's kind of a standard fantasy setting, swords and sorcery and dragons and stuff like that. So I'm starting out a new character here. This guy you're looking at is Melkor Silverblood. Uh, he's a sort of a cleric uh, class. Uh, he's a Nord, which is one of the native uh, peoples of, of the Skyrim area, one of the races of men. And uh, I'm using a game modification called Alternate Start that lets you um, kind of create different kinds of characters than you normally get to in the game. So I've created him as a Vigilant of Stendar. That's kind of a religious uh, order, which I'll talk a little bit more about um, as we go. So in my game, I've just started this new character. He's a level one character. The, these are his quarters in the Hall of the Vigilance, where he's starting out. Uh, it's kind of this religious um, uh, order. And their, their priory here is the Hall of the Vigilance, where I'm starting out. And um, my character kind of backstory here, I'm going to be doing sort of a role-playing focus to my Let's Play. So I'm going to be really trying to get into this character. And uh, he's a member of the Silverblood family, which is sort of an aristocratic, influential family of uh, uh, merchants and business people that uh, are based in the town of Markarth, which I'm going to be trying to get over to in a, in a little while. Um, and so I'm the son of Thonar Silverblood, who runs the treasury house. He's a businessman, has some controlling interests in a lot of the mining operations that happen in the western, western part of Skyrim which is a province in the land of Tamriel. Um, so I just woke up. I'm going to say that I have uh, I was sort of an unruly child growing up and um, didn't really have a head for business or want to follow in my father's footsteps. And I got into a lot of mischief and trouble growing up. And so uh, parents sent me off here to the Vigil of Stendar to be... Uh, to act as kind of a boarding school for me, to instill me with a little bit of discipline and give me a sense of purpose... Um, so I'm going to say that I've been here for the last several years as a teenager, and now I've just kind of graduated. I'm now in a full-fledged Vigilant of Stendar, and I'm ready to go out into the wide world and, and start adventuring. So I've woken up here. It's graduation day. Uh, I'm going to gather up a few items that I might need for my travels. Um, take some wine for the road. That's always a good idea to have. Let's see what I got in my chest here. Some more wine, maybe some gems I can sell, some food, a couple of lockpicks might come in handy, uh, and some some silver jewelry. I'd probably have a lot of that as a as a silver blood. That also gives me the excuse to say that maybe I've got some allowance from my family. I've got a little bit of cash, so I'm not going to need to spend quite so much time. Uh, scrounging for money in the game. That's going to allow me to focus a little bit more on the role play aspects uh, of the game as I go through. So, alright, uh, coming out into the main area of the hall. And there's some of my uh, some of my brothers, my fellow vigilants. Looks like some kind of morning service is going on at our little altar here. There's a shrine of Stendar, that kind of thing with the horn on it on the table. And, uh, all right, I'm going to kind of just check out the building, see if there's the any other supplies. The mercy does not extend to Daedra worshippers. Wherever Indeed. the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Damn straight. Uh, I'm going to head down into the basement storehouse and see if there's any supplies down here I can take with me. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Mm-hmm. And you as well, sister. Uh, here's a book. Maybe I could use some reading material for the road. It's a book about uh, knights and armor and stuff. That'll be cool. I'm going to take that to read later. Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigil has oh, none to spare. And spin. here is uh, a map of the province of Skyrim. 
So I'm right about here in the center of where I'm looking. That's where the hall is. And my intention is to get back to Markarth, which is way over here in the west. That's where my family is based out of. So I'm going to go and kind of visit my family for a little bit. I haven't seen them in a few years. So we'll celebrate my graduation, and I'll kind of show off to them how I've become a more mature and responsible adult. And uh, I can maybe still bring some honor to the family by serving in the order and... What the Vigil does is we, we go around and hunt uh, Daedra, which are like these kind of demonic entities, and we hunt undead and other kinds of abominations to keep the populace of Skyrim safe. So they should be happy about that. So what I'm going to do is probably strike out south to this central town here. This is the city of Whiterun. It's kind of a big city, which I haven't seen much of, of big cities yet in my life, so... That should be interesting for me the first time to see that city. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to catch a carriage ride from Whiterun uh, that'll take me along the main roads to uh, Markarth so I don't have to walk all that distance. Because that would be a pain. All right, let's see what else we got in the stores. Uh, oh, gross. There's just a giant's toe laying out on this barrel. I don't know why somebody left that out. But uh, all right, some, some curing potions. Those would be good to have. Take a couple of those, a stamina potion. Yeah, that'd be good. A shield of Stendar. The shield is kind of iconic for the vigilance of Stendar. Um, as Stendar is kind of the shield of the races of men. He's the protector against these dark forces. So that'll be cool for me to carry around the shield of Stendar. Um, Alright, looks good. Alright, I'm heading out. Uh, take care. Bye-bye. Go back up and make my farewells here. The suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished. That's right. I'm about to go start doing some of that service work. Keeper Carset is kind of the headmistress here. She's sort of in charge, and uh, in my story, I'm going to say that she's kind of taken me under her wing as sort of a protege. Um, so she's probably happy that I finally am graduating. The I am the keeper of the vigil here and, in Skyrim. Uh, yeah, we she's... bring Stendar's mercy to the innocent, and his justice to the Daedra. That's right, she's kind of a badass. Uh, are you going to go around uh, hunting some Daedra now that the uh, the graduating class has, has finished up their coursework? And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent and need mercy. Mm. She's a badass. Uh, is there anything else you can teach me before I leave? I'll gladly share my knowledge with you. All right. I'm going to get some training in restoration magic. Pump up those skills. That is another service the Vigil Stand provides to the populace, is uh, healing services and things like that. So restoration magic is important. Um, I'm going to be focusing on that and kind of ignoring Wherever the other... The Vigil of you know, non-clerical types of, of magic. The I'm just going to be putting my skills into clerical types of magic. So, As it's graduation day, I'm going to say that my fellow vigilants provided this uh, this gift here. They're giving me this fancy mace here on the table as a, as a, as a graduation present. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. That'll be useful on the road if I get into any trouble. And then I'm just going to pray at the shrine here for some... <clears throat> Uh, some blessings for good travel, safe travels from Stendar. So there, now I've got a little bit of a blessing going. And all right, I'm gonna say farewell to everybody. It's been real, you guys. I'll come back and visit you probably later on. I'm gonna go home and visit my folks for a Stendar's couple weeks. Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the yes. vigil has none to spare. And the upon you as well. Will not go and I'm just gonna look around and see if my friend Emma is here. I'm trying to bring. Um, Stendar's mercy be upon you. Follower has along with me on my journeys, and I think she lives here, but I don't see where she is. There she is, Emma. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Yes, we will. Let's go do some of that together. Do you what want do you to? What uh, my friend? Oh, I, I need you to follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. Cool. I'm also using a game modification that adds extra characters to the game, uh, like Emma, particularly Vigilance of Stendar. 
So I'm going to say in my story that Emma is just one of the friends I made at school. She was in my uh, cohort here going through the program, and so we both are, are graduating together. And, um, and we're going to team up. She's going to come out with me adventuring, and I'm going to take her home to Mark Hearth so she and I can uh, spend some time enjoying the hospitality of the Silverbloods and uh, getting a little vacation in before no we start our, our work. So, all right, out into the wide world we go. I'm also going to say in my story that I'm that uh, Stendar, who's this divine, he's kind of one of the gods of Skyrim, who is a god of uh, might and mercy the and things like that. Will not go and I'm going to say he's chosen me as kind of a champion and has made me uh, Dragonborn in order to help fulfill my destiny. Um, so Dragonborn just means I'm going to have certain other kinds of special abilities that I'll be able to discover later on as the game progresses. So, all right, Emma, are you with me? Looks like it's kind of a cold, chilly day out here. So I'm going to go ahead and put on uh, a hood. Try to ward off the chill a little bit around my head and ears. Some other vigilants just hanging around doing some work, some chores, but this is a storm cloak. Um, if soldier. you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Okay, Windhelm, huh? All right, maybe I'll head out and see Ulfric uh, in, a, in a while. So there's kind of this civil war brewing in Skyrim between uh, those guys, the Stormcloaks, who kind of are the armed forces of the native Nord peoples of Skyrim, and they, they're kind of getting in a tiff with the Empire. And so the, the Imperial Legions are here, and they're kind of trying to conquer Skyrim, or at least uh, colonialize us and make us change our religions and things like that. So my, my family, the Silverbloods, are Stormcloak sympathizers, and I guess I'm going to lean that way as well. And so if it comes down to it, I'm going to favor the Stormcloaks over the Imperials um, in that conflict. Looks like there's some guys out there mining in the cold, snowy weather. Some brave souls. And there's a fort I'm coming up to. I think this is Fort Dunstad. Um, it's in the neighborhood of the hall, so I'm probably familiar with it. Growing up here the past few years. There it is, Fort Dunstad. And, uh... Ooh, what's going on? Up there. Oh, jeez. There's some guys fighting. Oh, man. There's a squad of Imperials. He's attacking the fort. Uh-oh. Let's hope the Stormcloaks can fend them off. Come on. Oh, better be careful here. I'm a level one character. I don't really want to get into a, a war battle just now. Sneak over here behind the tree and see what's happening. Eek! All right. Looks like the Stormcloaks just killed a guy. Now they're going to retake the fort, I hope. Try not to get involved, but let's see. These guys have anything good? Ew, yuck. I don't want to look at that. Those are dead Imperial, though. Not really anything I need. Alright, I'm going to get into the fort here and see what's going on. Good shot, buddy. Oh! Ow! That guy just got butchered. Good job, Stormcloaks. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. No, not a wizard. I'm a cleric from the Hall of the Vigilant right across the hill there. Can I come in and see what's going on? Damn faithless Imperials. Yeah, these faithless Imperials. They are really something, aren't they? I think you might be in... They're wearing underwear. Wrong place, friend. Next Imperial I see is dead. Jeez, you guys really cleaned up. There's bandits here too? What is going on? Real melee happening in here. Okay, is that it? Another one over here. Alright, well, it looks like you guys, uh, Defended the fort here fairly well. So keep up the good work, guys. 
Talos guide you. You. Send our Keep guide your here. eyes open. I will. Thanks for the warning. Uh, I appreciate that you guys are keeping the area secure for the for the vigilance. So we need any Imperials sucking around. All right. Ooh, the sky's getting red over there. Let's see. Take a look at my map here. All right. I'm gonna. Instead of going straight south, I would have to climb over this little mountain ridge. I think I'm going to continue going southeast through this pass and then come back southwest to get to the town. It should be easier traveling for me. So, all right, let's head out. Just in case there's any more Imperials lurking around, I should probably get my mason shield at the ready. Soldier. All right, let's get a move on. Hopefully, we can get to White Run by the end of the day. Ooh, there's some more guys here. And a fallen storm cloak. Ooh, baked potatoes. That might be good later. Pretty walking through these trees in the forest here. It's a good looking game, good lighting effects. Even though it's a little bit dated. This is the special edition of Skyrim, uh, which I'm just playing on my Xbox One. I just kind of jumped into this uh, whole uh, Let's Play thing. I'm, I'm experimenting and learning as I go, so hopefully. Quality will improve. I hope the audio quality is okay. I'm using the standard comes with the Xbox. And I'm broadcasting this through the sh sir Whoa, what was that? What the heck is going on? Emma, what are you doing? Now that's how it's done. What the heck are you doing, Emma? What's in there? Oh, gross. A giant spider? Oh, it's got some venom. Is that what he spit at me? That was kind of gross. You okay, Emma? Ooh. I'm right behind you. All right. Let's keep going, I guess. Watch out for any more of those little buggers. But anyways, yeah, I'm using, uh, well, here's some berries. Using Twitch to broadcast this out and then I'm the plan is to export that to YouTube uh, so people can just watch it at their games. And so I guess if you're watching this it worked. So, but I'm just learning. There's maybe a learning curve here. Hopefully, the quality will improve. Let me know how this uh, how this looks and how it sounds. If there's any issues with sound or or uh, visual glitches or anything, um, hopefully it's a little bit entertaining. But we'll see. Keep moving here. Deers of some sort up ahead. That's the kind of life I like. I'm not too crazy about these giant spiders. The deer just wants to eat all this vegetation and snowberries and stuff like that. Doesn't want to eat me like the spider does. So I like the deer. Mine's up ahead. That should give me some information about where to go. White run is uh, that away. I don't have time for this foolishness. Let's now, go. Quietly, and we won't have to get rough. Oh, brother, get rough. I think she's telling the truth. I'm not going anywhere. What's what's now going on here? Before I do something drastic. She doesn't have the scar. Oh, you're right. Scar. You've made a mistake. Now move along before that mouth of yours gets you into trouble. Next time you're looking to pester someone, make sure it's the right person. Oh. Take it easy, lady. You don't want to upset those guys. Look at that big sword he's got. What are they hassling you Foreigners. about? Are you okay? What a nuisance. Yeah. What was that all about? They thought I was some other Red Guard woman. They just wouldn't leave me alone. I hope they get lost in the wilderness. Yeah, I don't really want to see those guys anymore. Listen, I'm going to White Run. You're welcome to tag along if you're Foreigners. going in that direction. What a nuisance. Yeah. Oh well. Well. All right. Let's head off, Emma. 
Ooh, look at that. Night run up ahead. A city on the hill. Up on some kind of big Acropolis. Rock outcropping. That's not too far. I should be able to get there by nightfall. As long as I don't have any other crazy incidents. The cold reminds me, there's another game modification I'm going to use. I better activate that if I can remember how. Um, let's see, where would that be? Frostfall. Okay, so the Frostfall modification adds another kind of dynamic to the game uh, of temperature. So different areas, different zones in the game have different temperatures, and then it creates uh, another statistic for your character, which is like a body heat index that is tracked and is, is affected by the, the temperatures of the places that you're in. So if you get too cold, your stats start to suffer, you get weaker, eventually you can get uh, hypothermia or frostbite, or you can even die if you get too cold. So I'm going to have to keep my eye on my body temperature, and you can combat the cold with... Uh, Things like uh, just dressing warmly, or building a fire, or getting inside some kind of shelter, or eating some hot soup, or drinking some alcohol, things like that will slightly warm you up. So now it's telling me that I'm in a cold area, so I'm going to start losing body heat if I just stand around here in the, in the snowy, windy weather. So I'm going to keep moving. It looks like the snow is clearing up as I come down out of the foothills of the mountains. Oh, gosh, there's another spike. Emma, get it. Yeah. Is it dead? What else? What did I just hear? I thought I heard something. No? Everything looks calm. I guess that was it. things are gross. Look at that green blood. Nasty. But their venom can be useful, so I'm taking a little bit of that. Alright, we good? We good. Let's go. Some kind of bonfire over there. Next to that rocky hill. Yeah, ooh, look at that. There's some mammoths down there. That means there's probably giants around here. Oh, I'm getting colder now. I want to keep my distance from the giants. They are dangerous. They're not very aggressive, but if you, if you get too close, they defend themselves, uh, and they can probably smash me to oblivion. So I'm just going to avoid them and continue on my way. All right, getting closer to White Run. Looks like I'm getting into the outlying farming areas. There's a windmill, some rural territory outside of White Run here. Did I just hear a wolf howl? That's a little disconcerting. Keep your eyes peeled, Emma. There's a bunny rabbit over there. Oh, here's some folks. What's going on up here? Hello, sir. Ah, bother and be fuddled. Huh? Stuck here. Stuck. My mother. What do you mean my you're stuck? Poor mother. I'm moving. Got a problem? Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to as a new home. As she's not undead. A new crypt, but. Wagon wheel, damnedest wagon wheel! It's What's wrong with your don't wagon wheel? Don't you see? Well, it looks fine to me. So what? What do you need? Is there some way I can help? Why doesn't the guard help you? Isn't that his job? Oh, oh, oh yes, <laughs> yes. The kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Laureus farm, just over there, off the road. Talk oh yeah, I saw that farm. He has tools. He can help me, but he won't. He refuses. 
He refuses to help? Uh, convince lorries to fix my wheel! Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin! Gleamy, shiny coin! Well, there's no need for that. I mean, I'll, I'll help you if I can. I'll you know, go ask the guy if we can use his tools. Oh, I see. There's your wheel. There's the problem. There's your problem. I see what the problem is. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to go ask. This must be the farm. Let's go see what we can do. Doesn't hurt to ask. Just being a good citizen here. All right. Oh. Hey, you guys? You need something? Talk to my husband. Vantus Lorius. Or okay. just Lorius, if it's all the same to you. Patriarchal culture out here in the rural areas, huh? Gotta oh, talk to the, the love man of Mara, the what household. Now? Listen, sir, there's a guy out there with the little little man with the with the wagon. He needs your help. That Cicero feller? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Well, because he's stuck. Look, what's the problem? I'm sure he'll pay you. Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Okay. It does he's seem a like he's man maybe a little... For a hundred years. A little bonkers. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Yeah, it mother is a little creepy. Eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. Oh, I don't know if he has any of that stuff. Hey, look, he's just a stranger. He needs assistance. I mean, if I was... If there was a, a stranger broken down outside the Hall of the Vigilant and I had tools, I would help him. So you should really just do the right thing here. What? And just who in Mara's name are you anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. I'm Melkor. Help a, a, I'm a, a Vigilant fool? of Stendar. Come on, you know you should help him. Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away, what kind of a man am I, huh? Look... That's all I'm um, saying, yep. Thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. All right. Thank you, Mr. Vantis Lareus. Okay, well, it looks like the sun is starting to set, so I better be on my way. Just check back in with uh, this weird little man. All right, Cicero. Oh, poor mother! Her new home seems so very far. Look, I talked to Lareus, and he's agreed to fix your wagon wheel. You, you did? He has? Yep. Yeah. Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, oh, but more, glad even I could be more. of service. My mother thanks you. Here, here All for right. your troubles, shiny glitter. Oh, no, that's not necessary. Oh, I was just doing my good deed for the day. Deed. And thank you, thank you again. <laughs> you are welcome, sir. Have a good day. Oh, he paid me anyway. I guess uh, guess I'm not going to turn down a donation to the Vigil of Stendar. So, all right. Emma, you with me? All right, we did our good deed. Let's uh, let's hustle up and see if we can get there before it gets too dark. I have to run a little bit. Ooh, running uphill. Oh, jeez. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh. Uh. Oh, hey, whoa! What the heck? Jeez. Uh, What's going on? What is happening? Bandits? Is that a guard? Oh! Ow! <laughs> Screw you, pal. Why did you just attack me? What's going on? Oh, my gosh. More bandits? I am sorry. You left me with no choice. Whew. Emma, you're glowing. Oh, you must have some kind of defensive uh, magic spell going on. That's good. That means I don't have to worry quite so much about you. What is happening, though? These bandits just came out of nowhere? You know what? 
I'm gonna take your, uh, your bow here. I don't have any kind of ranged weapons. That might not be a bad idea. And, of course, your money is, is forfeit. I'm gonna take the steel arrows are better than iron arrows. Right by the guard tower, these bandits just are waylaying travelers. Ugh, it's a good thing those guards were there. It's getting dark now. I hope there's not more bandits around. Ugh. Alright, well, let's keep going here. Okay. Dark. Might be more bandits around. Might be wolves out here. Didn't know the the outside world was so scary, did we, Emma? Yikes. Let's keep a move along. Try to get around this outcropping and find the entrance to the city. I don't think I can just climb up there. That looks way too hard, especially in the dark. Uh, who's this guy? Hello? What elf? What are you doing here? Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax if you're interested. Well, I am weary, but... I don't need to really relax. I need some energy, if anything. I gotta get to Whiterun before it gets any darker. What are you talking about? The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Skooma? Oh. Oh. Oh, you're a drug dealer. That doesn't seem legal. Oh. A snitch, huh? Can't have you running any guards now, can I? Well, Never look, pal, here. you can't... Oh, you can't do that. Ah! Guards! Guards! Stop attacking me! Look, I have to defend myself. No! You won't get the best of me! Come on! That takes care of that. What a scumbag! What is with this outside world of Skyrim, man? A lot of criminals out here. Uh, well, I better confiscate this stuff. I don't want anybody else finding it and getting addicted. Whew. What All can right. I do for you? Well, just watch my back. Make sure there's no more uh, criminals or bandits lurking around. All right, looks like we're getting into the kind of the suburbs here, the the area outside the walls. Should be a little safer. I hope there's more guards patrolling. There's one now. Dude, you know there was a drug dealer just uh, just around the bend there? You gotta keep your eyes out. Alright. More farmland here. Whoop. Okay. Good. So how can I actually get into the city? And maybe I can find an inn or something to spend the night in. Rest up, and then tomorrow I can start looking for a carriage ride to Markarth. How do I get in there? There's lots of farms around. Good evening, sir. Man, these are big walls. It's a well fortified city. I hope it's well run safe, and it's not full of criminals like the surrounding areas are. Jeez. Um, let's see. Uh, isn't there like a road or something that goes in there? A lot of little streams around here. I guess they get, that means they have a fresh water supply. That's good. This looks like a road, okay. Oh, and here's the stables. That might be a place to look for a carriage ride tomorrow morning. Oh, that's just the stable symbol, the horse. Okay. I've forgotten what it feels like to walk on warm sand. Ooh. A yes, Kajiti caravan is in town. And all can be yours. 
What do you What do you got there? Hello, Rishad. Rashid welcomes you, and also your coin. Yeah, Khajiit. Huh? I've always been curious about your homeland. Khajiit hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly, always. I there see. are cities so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. Oh, sorry to bring that up. Listen, I've heard about your caravans. You guys are, are said to have lots of interesting goods for sale, so uh, what have you got? Take a look. All right. Ooh, you know, a tent would be great to have. Then I could sort of camp out when I'm outside and get out of the elements. I'm going to take that tent off your hands. Ooh, backpack, that might be a useful thing for a traveler to have, too. Okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. And you know what? I wonder if you might be interested in uh, buying some things, too. I'm going to show you what I have to sell. Oh, you're selling drugs. I don't know if you should really be doing that. I wouldn't do that around here if I were you. Um, I could use a cloak, too, though. A cloak will help me stay warm if I get too cold. So that would be good to have. All right. Thanks. And let's see if I have anything for you. I do have some gems. I wonder, would you buy these amethysts and garnets? Yeah, it looks like you would. All right. Cool. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. May your road lead you to warm sands. Uh, and, and you as well. All right, let's head into town here. Come, come and see what goods I offer. So this is White Run. I finally made it to the big city at the center of Skyrim. Again, I hope the city is well run. I hope the Jarl is a decent guy, the guy who's in charge. The Jarl of Markarth, where I grew up. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Lorius so Farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Can I come in? Citizen. I guess I can go right in. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to be looking for an inn and just uh, crash out for the night. And that will sort of wrap up my first episode here. And, um... Still here. Next time I'll head out to uh, Markarth. The next leg of my journey. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Blacksmith shop. Why don't you shop? that stubborn pride of yours and ask okay. Orland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend What's my this? knee to Ulfric's storm cloak. The Drunken Huntsman. Besides, now, if that's not a tavern, I don't know what is. Maybe they have rooms to rent. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. All right, Emma, I'm pretty tired. How about you? Oh, I What's see you got your, your city clothes on. That's a cool outfit. Let's go into the Drunken Huntsman, see if we can get a room, uh, crash out for the night, and then tomorrow morning we can explore the town and... And look into getting Still some here. transportation. So, all right, let's do it. Maybe we'll get a bite to eat and have a drink as well in the uh, in the inn. Take a good look around. I have one. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. All right. This looks cozy. So I can take off my hood. And hopefully I don't need my shield here. Uh, hello, my Nord friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Hello. Saw that wild not really hello, hunting friend. supplies, but... In the market for some hunting supplies? Yeah. Uh, not really, but do you have anything for sale? An archer, huh? I've got just what you need. 
not really an archer. Uh, I have this bow, but I just found it. I don't really know how to use it. Um, I'll take an ale, though. You know what? Maybe, uh, maybe some arrows. Do you have any steel arrows? You do. I don't need that many steel arrows. Whew. I really just want, like, a few steel arrows. I don't need 150 of them. Alright, how about ten? I'll take ten steel arrows, please. Thank you. Is there hunting supplies? You hunt with a halberd? That's interesting. Alright. Thank you for that. Why the name Drunken Huntsman? Yes, I hear that question often. Oh, okay. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. <laughs> after our drinks, Been there, we done went out that. for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my, well, rump. <laughs> After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. <laughs> got it. Thank you very much for your business. All right. You guys have rooms to rent, though? If you so. have need of hunting supplies, then you've come to the right place. Goes back outside. Still here. Anything upstairs? Yeah, it looks like they don't have rooms here. It's just a bar. All right. Well, there must be some inn in town somewhere. Excuse me, sir. Can you direct me to an inn? Staying out of trouble, kinsman. Yeah, I'm staying out of trouble. Sometimes trouble finds me, but the guard doesn't really need to know about that. Alright, what do we got here? That looks like some kind of a shop. Uh, this place looks like an uh, apothecary of some sort. Um, Bannered Mare. That looks like that might be an inn. Let's try this one. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. No, Let me know if please. You want any. Here we go. This is what I'm Seems talking like about. One more around here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, look at all these people. All right then. Now. Oh, there once was a hero really named partying. Okay. To white run from old nice festive atmosphere. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of bold battles in gold he had There's made. There's nothing but singing. But the then he went quiet, times. did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Bard, huh? Oh, Hi there. I, what can I get you? Uh, can I rent a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Awesome, thanks. I'll show you to your room, right this way. If it's work you're looking Excuse for, me. Hulda's the one to talk to. Watch what you're doing. Good patrons of the oh, I'm sorry, there. jeez. Thank you. It's really crowded in here. You can I hardly move without bumping into somebody. Oh, cool. The bard plays a flute, too. Alright. You said you were going to show me to my room? Oh, it's upstairs. Okay. Ah, this looks nice. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Well, thank you. Look at this. I even get a little balcony overlooking the festivities going on down below. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll chill out up here, have a seat for a, for a minute while I eat my dinner. Sadia, wake up, dear. Okay, what do I have for supper here? Um, I'm gonna have those baked potatoes and some bread and uh, an ale, or maybe some wine would go better with potatoes and bread. And uh, we'll do an apple for dessert and be healthy here. Yes, Mum. All right. Well, this is nice. Have a seat, Emma. Mm. 
You want a drink? Oh. Uh, well, I had a wine, but I don't know. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. I already ate. I guess I could use another drink. Um... Ooh, you've got that Blackbriar mead. That stuff is expensive. But hey, I am a silver blood. I have a taste for the finer things in life. Yeah, give me a bottle of your your Blackbriar. That sounds good. Thank you. Now please, no more questions. <laughs> questions? I didn't ask you for anything. <coughs> All right. Well, that's enough for that. Enough for one day. Pretty tired. Uh, boy, we got into a lot of action today, Emma. A scuffles on the road. Excuse me. Can I get past you, please? I'm trying to go to bed here. Alright. Thank you, uh, Sadia. Alright. I'm going to bed, Emma. You can come to bed whenever you're ready. We're celibate, of course. We're a religious order, so it's okay for us to sleep together as a man and a woman. Alright. It's a late night. Go to bed, try to get a full eight hours of sleep, and uh, that's going to wrap up my first episode of my Skyrim Let's Play. So thanks for watching, tuning in, everybody. Um, check back later. I'm going to see if I can do some more episodes and keep this going. And uh, let me know if you're enjoying it or if you have any suggestions for how I could make this a better experience. And uh, we'll see you next time. This is Alienation signing off. Thanks, everybody.